Well, hi everyone. How's everyone doing? Just the latest catch up from Copeland Coy. It's been um, a bit of a stressful couple of weeks since we last posted. Um, we had an outbreak of flukes, so we had to treat them. We've had um, a leak on the window, so we're deciding what we're going to do because it keeps leaking on and off. Ghost still has this very red, sore skin. As you can see there, the new fish that we've got jumped out of the bloody pond. And at six o'clock this morning, the new fish is Polo, the black and white one down there. Six o'clock this morning, I came down to um, put the kettle on. I always nosy out the conservatory. And there he was, lying on the floor here, very dry. Picked him up, was slight movement from him. Popped him back in the pond and he's a very lucky little fish because he survived. Also we've got the dreaded blanket weed. So there's clover leaf in at the minute, hence why all the floor and that's white. Um, Due to the fish not being too uh, well, the um, air source heat pump is now set at 19. So they're cooking, feels nice and warm. And also to top it off, Chris changed some electrics on the air pump so that we could switch them off without opening the um, gray waterproof box. He decided put a switch here so I can switch them on and off when I like but unfortunately he then switched off the main electrics to the shed which unbeknown to us switched off the air source heat pump and it cleared all its settings and it wasn't working I don't know for how long so that didn't help the fish the pond temp dropped down to 16 before we realized and then it, another thing is Went to clean the pressure filter and somehow Chris thinks he knocked the lid when he took it off and it caused a, a hairline crack here. We're on our second attempt at resealing it because obviously when you put it on all this water just squirts out this leak. So all in all it's not been the best couple of weeks for us. Uh, Back shower's running okay. Just doing a, a clean on the um, Nexus, Nexon. A lot of clover leaf coming out there, as well as dirt. Beautiful weather we've had the last week here. Really nice. Nice to get out and fully enjoy the pond, even with all the stressful events so we think that the leak is coming somewhere down there because um, it's very wet here now it's manageable a manageable leak because um, we have a trickle in trickle out system on all week and then like now just before i empty the nexus dump all the dirty water the taps on full and i do put um liquid dechlorinator in and then all week the trickle hose is on which goes through that canister there so that keeps the leak from looking obvious but we are debating um, after the holiday in July to maybe um, put a brand new liner in and reseal the window reinforce it but that's all in the um, future so, as I said, lucky enough, little Polo, the Azura, is set alive and kicking. They're now fluke free. Chris took um, a couple of scrapes of about three or four fish and the, we found nothing. So that's good. We're all enjoying the sun. The nice weather. 
Uh, at the end of the video I'll insert um, a short clip of me buying the Azura. Azura, I think it's that. Azura, yeah. For Chris as a gift. Because he likes them fish. And we've been looking for a nice one for a long time. So there's a little bit of footage of that at the end of us uh, bowling it up and acclimating it to the pond. Just can't believe he jumped out. But he's okay. And also a little growing on pond in the conservatory. All the fish are fine, survived. Put a net on for obvious reasons. Um, filters are doing really well on it, so I'm just doing a water change once a week now. Chris has bought me two tiny ones. So there's uh, three, four, there's five koi in there, plus Bob, the fancy goldfish. As you can see, all the floors getting algae on it now. Algae. I have got a UV on, on that little filter there. So that stops the water going green. They're battering this plant when they don't get fed. Um, I'll just get them some um, food. They are um, starting to get um, a bit more tame, like recognising me, they, they, do, they will come up now once the uh, food goes in. Now, they might not now because obviously the phone, when they look up, the phone is different to them, They're not, they've not seen that, they usually just see me. How cute is Bob, the beach ball? He looks like he swallowed a beach ball, the fancy goldfish. But he holds his own, swims around quite happily. Koi have accepted him as one of their own. Taking their time coming up. But anyway, they're, they're doing really well. That's it for this update. Just wondering if anybody else has got window. Do they, are they more in favour of sealing the window from the inside like us with the liner to the window. It's in a frame and then the liner is um, glued to the actual window. Now, why it keeps leaking, we have no idea unless there's actually a hole in the liner near the window and we haven't picked it up. Whereas we are just thinking, oh, it's the, the seal that's leaking. So, looks like we're going to have to order a swimming pool, drop, drop the pond, get the fish out, maybe put a new liner in, that might be the easiest thing to do, and uh, start again. So if anyone else has had issues with their window and how they've solved it, let us know. A bit of nudging starting to happen with the um, boys and girls in there doing their breeding dance, what I call, around the pond, nudging each other, which is funny to watch. As you can see, they're all okay, happy. I'm going to um, say goodbye now and um, carry on cleaning the nexus and then put that hose back to a trickle and I'll just add on the footage of uh, our new fish that we've got 
so see you next time bye now it's saturday the 9th of april and i've just gone and bought chris a gift he's always wanted an is it an Uzzura? Yeah. fish so i surprised him popped into my local koi deer north wales water Gar water world and there it was This is a black proper gift, Chris, because it's not a fish I would buy. But he's been wanting one for a couple of years. You can take him out now, he's been totally um, temperature thing. Two hundred. Twenty centimetres. Not if you know. He's got a nice even pattern, hasn't he? Yeah, pretty it. little fish so nice far. Little face, yeah. It'll be interesting to um, see how he grows on, how his pattern develops. Now, what, see if he can have the square one. Measure. Look, what do you reckon? 25. That was two, what's that in inches then? 25. So that's four, eight, ten. Ten inches. Yeah, right. Make sure it looks right. Which is 20. Yeah, 25. He's not. You're just wishing it. Uh, no, You're wishing uh, there, uh, aren't uh, you? uh, uh. <laughs> All right. 25. Just under, I reckon. It's got 10 inches, so it would have been sold as a 10 inch koi. So, are you happy with that? Yeah. It's nice, isn't he? It's the best mm. one I've seen for a long, long time. Yeah. It's, like locally, it's, isn't it? Yeah. It's nice. What do you reckon? Male, female? Can't tell at this age, can uh, uh, he's got, he? Hasn't got round, he's got more of a pointed. Yeah, he's well, well, Might be a well pretty. Yeah. So now you've got to name him. Minstrel. Minstrel. It's original, isn't it? What would you reckon? It's not my fish. So well, minstrel then. Right, okay. Right, you put him in your pond now. Never to be seen off. again. Never to be seen again. Straight down the plug hole. It just shows you how big the others are then, doesn't look. What I like is when you put a new one in, all the other fish start circling with yeah. it. It's like a ritual, isn't it? Look. Here we go. Just down there. Yeah, I know, but then, Chris. <laughs> look, they're going to circle it now. 